all right guys i think this is the good time to start with the product variation okay so product variation can be very difficult and it can be very tricky also uh, because uh, the uh, when we uh, use this amazon and uh, you know those big websites they are uh, using a very difficult architecture and uh, they have a, a lot of variations but in this example project we are going to handle uh, only two variations that is color and size okay just to get an idea how this variations work okay so basically what is going to happen is when we add the product to the cart we should also be able to add this color and this size to the uh, cart right so that means when we are tick when we are clicking on this add to cart button we should be able to get these these two data right these two data via post request or we can use get request also so the moment i say get and post request that means this should be this thing should be the form right so the first thing is we need to put these elements inside the form okay so uh, let's uh, do that let's uh, go to this uh, uh, i think uh, this is the uh, product detail page right go to the template and product detail let me first close all these tabs okay and uh, here in the templates right and we have the product detail dot html so here uh, as you can see we have the product name coming from here and this is the product price and we should be able to get this here i think this okay this is the product image this this is this part is for the left side okay and we should uh, put the form in the right side so that means uh, that means here okay all right so this article starts from here you can see class content body and if i'm not wrong uh, it should be in the line number 21 okay all right so this article start from here and it is ending here okay so what we'll do is just go up and here above this article let's make a form okay just uh, the action uh, let's uh, keep it like that for now and just cut this one and uh, let's end this form here all right so let us uh, indent it properly all right I think uh, okay so where is it here right so now uh, we are using the form now that means uh, if you come here and uh, this add to cart bust button we are using the anchor tag with the href right but in this case in the form case it will not work so that's why what we'll do is instead of this a type button okay this is the this is the button start and here the a is ending and instead of this a remove this one and close button okay and uh, save this so this button type should be submit okay and uh, so this href will not work with the button so remove this one and just cut this so when we click on the button so it should go to it should go to this form action right here paste it here this url should come here instead of that href right and uh, uh, let's make a method here uh, for now just to uh, just for the uh, testing let's make it as get okay and uh, okay so again here okay this is the now this is now the color right so this is the color and this is uh, the size okay so for now what we'll do is uh we don't need this uh, a radio color I, I mean the radio button okay so instead of this we'll 
uh, because why I don't want to use this is because uh, if we add more sizes here okay more values here then it will exceed this line I think uh, then that will be the you know responsive uh, responsive issue so that's why let's make it a select drop down and let it be like this choose color and instead of this div cut this div okay and make a select the select name will be color okay we don't want uh, id for now and inside this select let's make some option option will be uh, first color uh, uh, sorry not color it is a red a red i just want to show you guys with the static values that's why i'm doing this one and yellow and this is um this is maybe green okay and this is yellow and green okay and for now this size also we don't want this this one remove this because uh, let's make a drop down here copy and paste it here and this select name will be a size right and this size let's make small medium large and this value also small medium large okay so now we have this drop down and if you go to uh, here and uh, refresh okay so this is not uh, matching with the bootstrap right so what we'll do is we'll make a uh, we'll put a, a bootstrap class here that is class equal to form control so copy this and paste it here so now this should work all right so this is working okay so now what what will happen is when we click on this one okay when we click on this add to cart so this will push these data inside the uh, you know browser uh, here uh, inside the url okay but don't click on this right now because it will add the product to the cart because we need to handle it from here also right uh, in the store views uh, if you see this the action is going to where add add cart method right so go to views and let's find out where is add cart okay sorry not here this is this add cart is in the carts app and views so it will come here right but what we'll do is for now let's take a value from the browser url because we know that we are using a get request right that means the uh, value this value will be this small value will be i mean small and red or any anything whatever we give the value will be coming from here right name equal to uh, the color equal to blue like this and size equal to small like this it is going to come because it is uh, you know it is uh, the get request right so let's go to here and here what we'll do is we'll take a color that is equal to request dot get the color here okay this color is coming from where this color this color is coming from here right let me show you the that is the name of the select box right this this name okay and uh, of and for the size also we are going to use size okay name size the same way let's copy this and paste this here 
and let's take a size and request dot get it will be now size okay so for now let's say return we can also do this okay print uh, color but uh, this sometimes because it is going to uh, print it in the terminal okay so sometimes it won't print so that's why i just want to show you with the uh, http request http response the color okay color then uh, let's concatenate with the size also okay so this should print the color and size exit this http response we should okay this is already available here okay and now at this point if you go to here and refresh and select any yellow and medium add to cart and you can see the color is coming uh, as the yellow okay this is the value of the color and the medium is the value of the size okay we got them here right we already have now we have the values right okay so so this one i showed you with the static values right this this is red you know this is the static value but in place of this we should be able to get the dynamic values okay the dynamic values of this particular product right this product particular product right uh, that's why we are going to make a variation model okay so in that variation model we will be adding the variations you know variation uh, maybe color size and all those stuff from the admin panel so that we don't have to always do this one okay of course this is not the right way of doing dynamic application so that's why so this is just to understand how we are going to get the data from the uh, back end okay so uh, let's stop here and let's continue making the uh, variation model in the next one okay thank you